candies with whim. This is such a wonderful waltz. Dream ball. Oh. No, 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 no. No balls for me. Not even in a dream. What are you all doing? Tonight. And of course, we would very much like to go there. But who would let us go? So we decided to throw our own party. And we already assigned the responsibilities. SD will decorate the place. <sighs> Dreamy will make the playlist. I will organize an entertaining educational program. <gasps> and Fancy will take care of the sweets. And all of the treats. And chocolate treats, too. Wow, a ball. No balls. Cleaning is on the schedule for today. Fairy broom. Again? You have only 53 seconds to fly and get the cleaning supplies. Starting now. Um, hey, are you nuts? Okay, maybe I went a little overboard. I'll throw a party for the girls, but only after the cleaning. Well, well. What do we have here? Sunny gummies? Moon heart candies? Oh, colorful disco balls. Laughing lights? Oh! Look, three for the price of one. Excellent, deliver. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, so much to do. Okay, I'll manage somehow. Traces of irritation. Kate's computer froze yesterday. And so she got eerie, eerie traded by it? Fancy, I think it's time for you to teach Kate's paper clips to behave. Okay. Oh, hey, look, sweets. Where did they come from? Didn't they fall out of you? Oh, well, these are candies with whim. I saw it in a magazine. There was an ad for it. Spice up your day with whim. Candies with whim. I want one too. So? So? Oh, I want to be whimsy so much. <laughs> and I'm itching to mess around a bit, even to get real rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like cleaning. Not in the least bit. Come on, who cares about cleaning? The Cinderella days are over. Down with rags and mops. Ha. Down with brooms. Let's have a ball. Like the one of the palace. Hooray, celebration. What, is a kitty party for little babies coming up? A flask and candy adventure in Pinkland or something? Now let me show you kids what real fun is. Check this out. Your wings are relaxing. You feel the tension in the veins floating away. In the veins? Hmm, not really so far. Your body is filled with a sense of calmness and pleasant lethargy. Now you're talking. Yes, I feel lethargic. Well, looks like our own ball isn't working out. What a letdown. Hm. Maybe it's for the best, you guys. We should go to a real ball, a royal one. Hiking is not fairyish. They wrote in my magazine that now it is fashionable to travel on flying ships. It's all the rage. Not a bad <gasps> thought. Uh -huh. Actually, I have something up my sleeve. 
Sheepy shop. Shoppy shoot. Shoppy ship. Build us a flying ship. Hey, letter, super brave. <laughs> Stop being Pythagorean, will you? We won't fall lower than the earth. At last, I will see you in real pool. Hey, don't leave me behind. Careful, everyone. That structure is not very solid, okay? Some kind of lullaby. And this is absolutely boring. Oh, that's it. Exactly what I need. Oh, I danced to this tune last fall. With such a blonde or a brunette. I do not remember. But how great he danced. <gasps> What's going on there? <gasps> the cake is ready. Very fail. So let the royal ball take place right here. Oh yeah, exactly. I saw the perfect spell in the moon book. Let me get it. I don't think this is a good idea. So, get in a circle, everyone, quickly. Okay, but there could be consequences. no aundra lendeo engali. Angelogna, landing gloda, nanding glad, dan glee! Is the royal procession coming up now? We are tired of all these endless tasks is what it was. Who do you think we are? The seven dwarves or something? We're sick of it. Oh, so you were tired? And you are all sick of this? And who do you think I am? Snow White? Do you think I want to clean up, bake pies for you, persuade you to study when you don't want to? Do you think I don't want to go to the ball where I should... <gasps> the candies did work. What candies? Stop messing around. Whatever. I have no time to listen to your fairy tales. You tried them too? With whim, why? They're just candies. Just candies? Well, Essie, then why have we been acting out all evening? Fairy canary. I know why. We all just wanted a holiday, not a mopping day. Fancy is right. We just wanted to be naughty because we were in a bad mood. Actually, the candies were meant for the holiday. What holiday are you talking about? The one that starts immediately after all the cleaning. And now, it's time for magic forfeits. Give me one item each, please. What should this forfeit do? I think this forfeit should go on a journey. On a journey? Excellent, but it's better to travel together. Let's go, girls. It's beautiful. Fantastic. Wonderful. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. This is the best ball I've been to in my life. In mine too, Fanti. You've received an anonymous message. 
That's it. Time to go home, or else you may catch a cold. Tomorrow the king will announce the loss of the noonday charm. You have to hurry up with the fulfillment of the prophecy. Wait, but who sent this message? The source could not be identified. So tomorrow they will start looking for the charm. I'm running out of time. I need to do something now. Dreamy's secret. Hello, Dreamy. What interesting thing are you doing there? I'm trying to decode the moon language. The moon language is dead. So far, no one has been able to decrypt it. It was banned for many years, and it was gradually forgotten. Only the meaning of individual symbols and words is known. <gasps> oh, how cool! And what does it say with such symbols? Ugh, you're such a blonde when it comes to science. <laughs> Watch out, everybody. You're much better thinking about boys. I'm also aware of scientific achievements about all kinds of breaking downs in the encryption of the moon language, by the way. Breakthroughs, bestie. That's what I said. There's something in my magazine about that. So many adore me. Look here, girlies. An article about the world language of a breakaway. Breakthroughs. I dream of being right here by my side. But it's you. Yes, you win the prize, for you, my love, won't be... I want to tell you my magic secret, Dreamy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. You see, Dreamy, I am not only interested in boys, but also in breakoffs. What did you mean? Tertia? Why was moon magic and moon language banned? Moon magic is strong and dangerous. For example, it can change the property of objects. Dramatically. So that's enough extraneous talk for today. Subject of the lesson, practicing restoring spells. May I? This is a spell that helps repair damage and broken objects. Oh, where's my little magazine? Dreamy, did you take it? Oh, yeah. I have long dreamed of picking some kind of golden, fairy-tastic dress for myself. <sighs> Fix it, stitch it, come together, don't come undone ever. Well done, Letty. And I also developed... Thank you. Tell me next time. The lesson is over. You can all do your own thing. What about the moon book? Moon book? What's wrong with it? You took it and haven't returned it yet. I took it? Did I? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, that's right. I took it. Fairy and Scarum, what happened to it? It's as if it was doused with water. Where did Dreamy go? She flew so fast. Jeez, what was letter mumbling? That's it! Fix it, stitch it, come together, and don't come undone ever! Feisty pasty! I didn't mean it literally! Come on, unstick! Oh, you silly magazine! <gasps> I didn't even have the time to read his name. And now not a single letter is visible. Letter. Letty! She's the one who will fix it! That's a piece of cake. Yeah, thanks. Wait a minute. This is Esty's magazine. Why do you need it? Well, you see, uh, the thing Everything is... Everything is clear. You are interested in the boy from the cover, and yet you laughed at Esty. And now you're so... <laughs> fell in love, fell in love. Now we all know your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at you now. <laughs> no, no one should know my secret. Now you need to repeat the same with the magazine. Strange thing. Oh, yes, it worked.
worked. Fix it, stitch it, come together, don't come undone ever. Case closed. Glue fragments. Stick up the pages, let the form return to its original status. For some reason, it has not been corrected, and I can't find the reasonable explanation. Dreamy, confess. What did you do with the magazine? I was using moon spells to handle the magazine, so... This is the result of using data whose meaning is not available to you. Yes, yes, letter. I will never blah, 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 whatever you say. But do something, please. All right, now. Here you go. Look, a digital copy sent to print to our printer. Thank you, Letty. You are a true friend. A spectral analysis studied the spectra of the interaction of matter from which the magazine is made of what yes i found out what happened to the magazine magic disappeared from it but can this happen what do you have to do with all this wreckage it was me i made a scientific experiment you an experiment at least let me see if i can recommend something more useful no this is classified information oh god a Will you tell me? Uh, leave me alone. This is my magazine. Jamie, why did you take it? And and why is it so, so, so broken? Uh, okay. Brace yourself. Well, so, I thought that Letty would fix it, but she didn't succeed. Hey! Dreamy fell in love with the picky. That's crazy. Fairy, I'm scared. Of course I'm not in love. I just, just like the picture. Well, it's composition. Lights and shadows are spectacular. I generally like beautiful shots. Oh, I Look see. What if I you're did. not in love you with like him, then you don't you know? want to meet him. Right? Really? Now meet him? Look at what I, I need did. him as much as an amoeba needs boots. No, this is a catastrophe. A rift in the force field of our house. Look at it. Very bummer. Very tasty. Beautiful. If there are many rifts like this one, then we will not be able to live here at all. The cause of its occurrence is micro stress, or rather, excessive experiments on a person or fairy. What? Well, it's not me. Of course not you, but who's crazy about a color here? Or maybe you didn't fit in any dress. Dresses. Or Fancy. Where is Fancy? Hello. Do you like candy flowers? <gasps> Fancy! Look stop! Stop! Fancy! Fancy, what's wrong with you? Wake up! Phew. Glory to the Shimmer Fairy. You're safe and sound. First, no one looks at me. Then, everyone's in a rush. Oh, what's wrong with my candy flower? It wilted. All the magic was drawn from it. It's a miracle that Fancy didn't fall into this rift. It is urgent to eliminate this. Or maybe it's hungry. Maybe we need to feed it. Fancy. Brilliant. Fancy. We use the law of multiplication of magical energy. Carry everything magical that you have, and I will bring my duplicator. It's all my fault. I should have dealt with decoding the moon language and not all sorts of stupid things. Look at the matter differently. If it weren't for your crush on that photo, we wouldn't even know about the crack. And it could have ended very badly. Yeah, 
We must quickly forget all of this. Hello, hello. Who is Dreamy here? You wrote saying that you wanted to meet me. I appreciate all of my followers from the fairy net. And I meet with everyone personally. Because my beauty needs to be seen firsthand. <laughs> hey, what a nice chat we had. But now I have to go to the next meeting, girls. Autographs next time. Kissy, kissy. Bye bye. He's very strange. Really, he thinks he's such a big shot. And in the interview, he seems completely different. Sorry, Dreamy. I wrote to him as if I were you. I didn't know that he was like that. Come on, never mind. How can I take the moon book from Dreamy if she's stuck to it all the time? Together in love for all time. We see how the volumetric wizardry is separated into magic sequences. Now pay attention, please. I will demonstrate the unlimited possibilities of magic to you. Level magic. 150 kilo fairies. It's not complicated for an educated fairy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> a food show. I know. At this level, the process is divided into a number of elements, like the flower magic, the Colleen spell, and the vanishing act. Correct. Thank you, Letty. You will begin your training for these spells starting tomorrow, so be ready. All right, Esty, you'll learn the flowering spell, of course. Okay, Fanti, uh, you will work on the vanishing spell. And you, Dreamy, how well are you acquainted with the calling spell? Not at all. You'll train this one, then. Oh, such a... Oh, boy. That's it. Lesson's over. But what should I do? And you... Oh, let me help and you. And you... Uh, uh, you... You go invent something useless. Useless? <sighs> Be long, leaf be hovering, flower grow and flowering. <laughs> oh, at least just a small bud, please. Come on now, come out. The stem belongs, be long, the leaf be. What am I doing? The moon book is waiting for me where the real magic is. And I'm pitter-pattering here. Pitter-patter, humpty bump, wally bolly, really jump. Oi! Hey, you bald hedgehog! Come to me already! <laughs> Litter ladder, humpty hump, crawly bolly to me jump! Yes! What's this? <gasps> oh! Fumbling fairies! Ah! Oh. Tertia, here, I've I made it. I can't seem to make this flower grow oh. at all. Hey, look what I've just found. <gasps> Very fantastic! What a stylish thingamabob. Where did it come from? From the chest, probably. But no one seemed to ask for anything. Remember? Sometimes the chest gives away magical objects all by itself. No one really knows why. It remains a mystery. Bronze and gold, about 5,000 years old. It's a... The Amulet of Fortune. It's a rare and dangerous thing. It gives extra power to any spell, and with it, everything goes. You shouldn't tell everything that you know, Letty. I wish I had this little amulet just to grow a flower. 
The protection Shimmer Fairy. For Wait, what? The Shimmer Fairy put the protection on the amulet. Since that time, the amulet has been helping one fairy only once. The textbook should be your amulet. Yeah, so what? <laughs> Big deal. Now, all of you go back to your studies. It's time for me to cook lunch. The stem be long, the leaf be hovering, the flower grow and flow, flowering! <gasps> Fairy-tastic! <sighs> but could it work another time? Fairy balsam laughs and cries, give me shine to eyes! Oh. It doesn't work. Such a pity. Mm. Now the moon charm will work for sure with this thing in hand. And I'll finally know what it does. Glad gold, glad null, glow, dad, luck. Glad Walba Analog Log. <gasps> Fair him, scare him. Oh no, why did I have to turn the whole room inside out? How should I put it all back together? <gasps> oh. Letty. Give me back my voice. Give me back my voice. <laughs> Tertia is really something. She not only hid the amulet, she took your voice away. Tertia is right. The amulet is dangerous and I don't need it. Oh, please, Miss High and Mighty. Do you think you can do anything without the amulet? I bet you couldn't hack the Shimmer Fairy's protection. Nothing to it. Any fairy who hasn't used the amulet yet should just say, protection, break down. What should she say? Protection, break down. <gasps> yes, it worked! Letty, you're a genius! You fooled the amulet! It hacked itself! Wait, the amulet is dangerous. Boom, crash, splash, smack! <laughs> ah, oh my, ma! Quiet! I don't like the smell no more. Let it all be like before. <gasps> Very tastic. Oh, how did you manage to put everything right? Letty hacked the protection. Now, what else could we do? Dreamy, SP, oh. lunch is ready. Coming. <sighs> Bent hand. What if? No harm if I try it just this once. Fix it right. Paste it up. Never be. The screw is oh. loose. The screw is loose. What did you say, Letty? It fixed itself. Was it so simple? Give me back my voice. Sorry, I forgot. <clears throat> well, that there is a compression handle. If you move it wrong, a screw falls out. Do I make myself much clearer now? Yes, it's very captivating. But it's lunchtime. Mushu, away with you! Fanti, it's a good thing that you're training even at mealtime. But you'll still have to eat these mashed potatoes. I will never be able to master that disappearing spell. But I managed to do it, though. Isn't my flower beautiful? Atta girl, Esty. Mm, now try this spell on the dried geraniums. Easy peasy. I ate everything. Thank you, it was delicious. Dreamy, Esty. But you, Letty, stay. Gotta eat up all your mashed potatoes. But... I'll try another moon charm no, now. No way, it's my turn, Dreamy. I need to grow a geranium. Let it grow right on your head. <gasps> and you have cattle thorns. You wait and see. I'll tear all your wings off. <gasps> I'll wizard you a tail! Oh. I'll wizard you two tails! Get it back! No, stop I won't. this right now, you two! You, you stop got yourself! This Hooray! I was able to 
do it. Moo shoo. <laughs> Away with ah! you. There. Am I good or what? Ah. What have you done, Fanti? Revoke the spell right now. Quick, bring the amulet back. What are you doing here? Well, wonderful. Nobody will talk. <clears throat> Whatever is there on your heads? The geranium as you requested. Oh. <laughs> it all works. How should one decipher this secret symbol? Flowering! Quite an amulet of fortune, huh? It was nothing but trouble, if you ask me. Why did it have to even appear at all? No one knows when and why life yields such magical objects. It just happens, I guess. Mushu, away with you! Maybe it could have been a test? A test? Test of what? Well, to see if... if we're ready to do some real magic. Come here, Kay. Have you ever seen such a flower like this? It's a real miracle. Pure wizardry, I'd say. <laughs>